believe the lie that all I gotta do is accept Jesus as my personal savior and I can live any kind of way and he's still gonna bless me but the devil is a liar this comes with conditions and so in order to be blessed I know you don't like me but it's gonna be alright you gotta get delivered from your lying tongue you gotta get fornication, uh, your nasty attitude, uh, your gossiping ways, uh, your perversion uh, and your witchcraft if you want to be blessed you gotta get delivered you gotta get delivered uh, from your witchcraft uh, your devils, your witch uh, and your warlocks, you gotta get rid of that foolishness, if you want to see the blessings of the Lord God don't bless mess nor your hoodoo or your voodoo uh, did I tell you I was from Compton, California? And I ain't never scared. I've never been scared of a person. And I sure ain't scared of a devil. If you want to be blessed, Bishop, I said, I'm sorry. But I realized I told God when he saved me out of the industry. And when he got me out of drugs and healed me from molestation. Healed me from rape. Healed me from what my father did to me. Healed me from being great at 12 years old by my neighbor. Healed me from getting pregnant at 13 years old. Healed me from my choir member that introduced me to prostitution. When he healed me and delivered me, he called me to ministry and I ran from it because I said, I don't think I can do that because I see too many preachers and too many saints and Christians live a double life and I didn't want that woman of God. I said, God, if you're going to use me, I want to do it right. I want to do it right. There may be some people that don't like it, but I want to speak with us says the Lord. And so, I just got to be honest with you because I could have stayed in the streets if I didn't want God to really use me for real. If I wasn't going to walk this thing for real, man of God, I could have stayed in the world. And I just came here to let you know a secret, baby. If you're going to play with this thing, you might as well go on out there and have fun. I always tell people, if I'm going to go to hell, I'm going to go to hell on a first class ticket. But don't be in here playing and shaking and faking it because God said I'll take you hot or cold. But if you are lukewarm, I'll spew you out. Your best bet is to stay, be saved for real or all the way gone. And so, I came to break the hand of the enemy. Some of y'all are wondering why God hasn't opened up heaven and poured out a blessing yet when you've been walking right. But baby, let me tell you a secret. Sometimes it ain't sin that got your stuff tied up. Sometimes it's just because you're connected to blessing blockers. You're connected to blessing blockers. If you don't believe me, maybe you'll believe Psalm 1 and 1. Blesses the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Your boo bay and bestie may be the one blocking your blessings. All right. I know you don't want to hear it, but I'm going to say it anyway. Being unequally yoked can delay and destroy your blessings. Being unequally yoked can delay and destroy your blessings. You got to disconnect from some folk. Before you get blessed, you need to get some discernment and find out why you keep getting kissed by Judas and surrounding yourself with a bunch of snakes. All, right. All your homies really hate you in secret and praying on your downfall. You wondering why God has not blessed you and it's because you got an enemy in your army. You can't get blessed if you're blind. Okay. You can't get blessed if you're blind. And you wondering, I ain't living in sin. I am doing the right thing. I didn't stop fornicating. I didn't stop lying. I didn't been doing the right thing. I even show up to Bible study sometimes. And I just wonder, why it's because you are connected to the wrong people. The very person that you refuse to let go is the very person that's going to help you to your demise. The very person that you've really been warned about. That you've really been warned about. The one you really know about, but, but you're too desperate to be by yourself. And, and you too, you don't want to be lonely. And, and, and you don't want to be by yourself. And so you're holding on to poison and wondering why God ain't release your blessing. You connected to blessing blockers. Amen. Okay, I'm going to keep on going. You want to be blessed, but you're walking around with doubt in your heart. Okay. I told you it's tight, but it's right. You want to be blessed, but you're walking around with doubt in your
your heart. Your nickname should be Thomas. Read your Bible and find out who Doubt and Thomas was. You come to church, pray, praise, and prophesy, but in your mind you don't believe God will really do it. Jeremiah 17, 7 says, Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. You gotta trust him if you want him to bless you because blessings and unbelief don't mix. Amen, that's right, that's right. Blessings and unbelief Amen. don't mix. I know I'm stepping on your toes, but it's gonna be all right. I came to really help you because I really want you to be blessed. I really want you to walk in prosperity. I really you to be the head and not the tail and above and not beneath I really want you to be the lender and not the borrower but it comes with conditions yeah. <laughs> you can't be you can't want to be blessed and not believe that God is really gonna do it you can't want to be blessed and not believe that God is gonna do it what is the, the biggest prayer that I used to pray is Lord help my unbelief whatever it is that I don't believe whatever it is that is trying to stop me and block me from believing that you will deliver me and believe that you will heal me and believe that you will provide for me anything that's coming to block it Lord deliver me from my disbelief and some of y'all want to be blessed but you don't even believe in the blesser yeah and for those of you who have been living right and doing right and crossing your T's and dotting your I's. You've been praying fast and believing, not knocking your enemies out, not cussing folk out when you really want to, not going off on your co-workers. You stopped fornicating and presented your body a living sacrifice. You've been holy and walking upright. Everybody ain't doing wrong. Somebody sitting in the church really is living this thing. But you haven't seen the blessings of the Lord yet. I can't to tell you just hold on baby because it's coming. I know you're tired and you're saying God I'm going I'm going. I walk away from some things that I really like because you know some folks get up here tell their testimony like they didn't enjoy some things but in reality there were some things that you liked and you're saying God I walked away from it. God I gave it up. God I left it alone. I've been walking in your ways. I've been trusting you. I've been living my faith. I've been speaking those things that are not as both I've been on my face. I've turned out my plate. And why hasn't it happened for me yet? Why haven't I been blessed yet? It's coming, baby. It's coming. Because Matthew 5 says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Come back, musicians. I'm ready. I told you I was going to go real fast. My work is at the altar. A blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the hurt. righteousness for they shall be filled blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God I know you're telling you but your blessings is coming your blessings come your blessings are coming because blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God your blessing is on its way I know you're crying I know you're hurt I know you're tired but your blessings are on the way blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven they're talking about you like a dog they did you wrong when all you wanted to do was help you came out your back and all they did was stab you in it but blessed are the peacemakers blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall call and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake your blessings are on the way it's coming it's coming it's coming it's coming but before that happens let's get your heart right before that happens, listen, let's get your heart right. Amen. Amen. Because uh, I keep doing that because I don't think they hear me. So I uh, to make sure this thing is on. Before God really sets you up for a blessing, let's get your heart right because blessings come with conditions and, and requirements you want him to bless your marriage then stop watching pornography and fornicating and committing adultery it comes with conditions you want your children to be right stop cussing and acting a fool in front of them your blessings come with conditions 
you want your money to increase and stop going to the casino. Come on, break. 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 Blessings. In this season, in season, out of season, it don't matter. It comes with requirements. You can't pick God. Can I just be real and talk like I talk? You can't pick God. You can't pump God. You can't ask God to give, 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 and you give nothing back, baby. This is a give and take situation. You want him to give you blessings. He wants you to give him his own, your obedience. You want him to give you blessings. He wants you to give him your prayer life. You want him to give you blessings. He wants you to give up the things that are distracting you from him. It comes with conditions. And I really want you to be blessed. I can pray the blessings of Abraham. I can, I can, I can pray the blessings of, of David and Daniel and Psalm and Proverbs and all of that. But what that. will it mean if it falls onto dead ground? Yeah. Yeah. I've learned the hard way that I'm not going to keep sowing into dead ground. Come on, break. And a lot of us, we keep preachers. Break. We keep sowing into dead ground. We keep pouring out to the people, pouring out to the church, and it goes in one ear and out the other because they are saved but not delivered. They're saved and not healed. And so it's falling onto stony ground. But... It took me 10 hours to do a six and a half hour trip for me to get the revelation of what I was supposed to do. Come on. Come on. And he told me, Bishop said, you know what the theme is, right? I said, mm-hmm. He said, give me your scripture and your title. I said, mm-hmm, I ain't got it yet. I was waiting to hear instructions from the Lord. Come on, break. <laughs> And God told me in my hotel room. As, no, he told me before I even got, got to the hotel. That you are sent on assignment to break up the fallow ground. Awesome. You're not going to preach blessings to a bunch of blind, broken, burdened people. you got to go to get deliverance. I know y'all came to celebrate. But before you can celebrate the blessings, you got to get delivered. And so, let's get your heart right. Let's tear down unforgiveness. Come on, come on. Let's tear down hatred. Do it, do it. Let's tear down lying and perversion. Let's tear down adultery so we can get blessed for real. Let's tear down the fact that you're really crazy and out of your mind. You don't need the doctor. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost to give you peace that surpasses all understanding. None of y'all just walking around here like zombies don't know if you're coming or going. Because you need to be healed and delivered before you get blessed. And so, if I ain't told you, because I thought somebody would catch on and start running up here, but the altar is open. <laughs> and, and, and first lady, uh, the reason why I got my deliverance is because everybody knew my business. Everybody knew I did movies. Everybody knew I was a stripper. Everybody knew I sold drugs and was a drug addict and an alcoholic. Everybody knew my business. But the moment I got delivered from people and put my eyes on God, I started to see the work of the Lord in my life. The problem is, you always try to look together for a bunch of people that are just as jacked up as you. You try to hold it together and You out of? So why did they know what you did? They did it too, baby. So why did they know who you was with last night? They was with them too. The difference between my sin and, and other people's sin, man of God, is you can see mine. I just can't see yours. You did yours behind closed doors, and I put mine on front street. That's the only thing. Don't judge me because I sit here for you. We both going to hell. You just go to quietly. So judge the next person because they sin differently than you. And if you want to be blessed, if you need to meet me at this altar and allow God to begin the work of your real healing, 
Allow God to do the work of your real deliverance so that you will receive your blessings. I want you to be blessed in this season. I want you to be blessed, baby. I want to stand in agreement with you that God will meet every need, that God will manifest every prayer you prayed. But before I can do that, I got to do what I was sent on assignment to do, and that was to break the hand of the enemy off of your life. That was to tear down every witch, every warlock, every demon, every soothsayer, every meal that has been all built up altars to come against you. You may not want to wrestle with the devil, so I'll fight for you. Come on. Where are all the ministers of the house? Yeah. I know y'all look real cute and y'all dressed up real nice, but we came to work. We came to work. That's the problem. We don't want to get our hands dirty with the people. We don't want to tarry with the people no more. But if I be a woman of 